Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we're in the 358 modifieds here at Charlotte We were third fastest in practice should be an interesting race I'm Trying to get used to these cars they wear on a track a ton So I'm expecting this track to change a whole bunch through this race which is gonna be a lot of fun I think the fastest I ran on like a newer track was a 16 230 and the fastest guy in the practice was like a 208, so I feel pretty decent in the car overall. Try to stick somewhat low. Use about like half throttle, try to keep the car straight through the corner. At least now while the track's not too worn out. Three and four, you can really get to the bottom. Don't know how fast it was. I felt like kind of too sideways through it. We had a 310, so it's faster than what we had in practice. So I'm okay with that. 258, that's a good lap. Or 256, that's a good lap. This track's gonna wear out more and more through this race. We're just gonna move up the track. It should be a lot of fun. Because you can definitely keep some momentum on the high side. Second lap was a 407, which makes sense. You get the speed off the high side to start your first lap. So currently we are third, it says. And there's still a good amount of people left to qualify. So hopefully we can hold that spot. That'd be great. Because uh, passing, I don't think it's going to be too difficult. It's just going to be a good race, hopefully, overall. And the track's going to definitely wear out, so we're going to have to find new places to run. So hopefully we can keep third. I'll pick it up when we're getting ready to go green. All right, well, we fell down the fifth, which isn't too bad. We're not, like, completely mid-packed. There's 14 cards in the race. No caution. Starting about fifth should not be that bad, I hope. Seems like a lot of quick guys here. Everybody got quicker it seems like from practice to qualifying so hopefully we have a pretty good race i feel like there's gonna be a lot of sliders thrown in this race because you can get some good speed off like that mid to top lane especially once it starts to wear it out a little bit more probably about like mid race i think there's gonna be more speed up the, up there and people are gonna start throwing sliders should be a lot of fun hopefully it can stay pretty clean especially since there's no cautions definitely don't want to get turned around or get some damage to your car that would suck a whole lot. Okay, once we get rolling, that'd be great. So I think we're still waiting on someone to grid up. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We don't have 11. That's who we're waiting on. Because I know the 11 car is not even in the lobby. We're waiting on 11th place. Good luck, guys. But should be a good race overall. Yeah, still luck. got 45 seconds. No P joined up. Good cool. win, Jeff. Hell of a lap up front. 263, 267. Oh, wait. 256 was the fastest. Nice. 263 is a good lap. 271 is a good lap. 284 is a good lap. Like, people got quicker from practice. I even gained like 400s on, on my lap. So, definitely was a little quicker in qualifying, which is definitely needed. Where would I have been? I would have been like one spot back, I think. If I would have ran my time in practice, which isn't that big of a difference. I wouldn't really mind start on the outside, to be honest. But hopefully we can get a pretty good start down here. Get some grip in the bottom of one and two and maybe get by. A couple guys, maybe one guy. At least get into fifth spot. Just got to get a good restart, though. These things suck driving this slow. I really hate it. <laughs> They like to pull to the left so hard, you're like holding to the right, and then when it finally grips, you don't want to like go up and hit the guy out there. I hate, I just hate driving these cars slow. Get ready. All right, gotta watch the leader. He can go at any point because this pace truck goes off in the middle of the back stretch, so it's like really pace interesting. Charging. He's definitely speeding up the pace speed though, which is nice. Not a bad start. Fourth place really messed up that restart. I feel like. Fourth place was like sleeping on that restart or something. Oh god. Try not to hit the five and the four about gotten to me. Like I, we were all just like sliding down. I was trying not to get into him. <laughs> Somebody's already had. Try to keep some speed through the middle of these corners. So I feel like I could roll more speed off the higher side. If I do it right, at least. 
but that bottom definitely got some grip on it right now. I just need to run the right. We got a guy under the guy below me. I just got two sideways there trying to give him room. Even though I don't think he was that close to me. I kind of just over adjusted for no reason. I'm getting really sideways in the middle of one and two, which is really bad. The middle of one and two is not kind to me on that high side. I need to let off a little bit more through there. I just have to remember, dang it, see, like, just the middle of that corner is so sideways. I need to remember I'm not in late models, because I race these like I race the late models, and I need to not. I get a good run off of four in these things. I don't think we actually made contact contact. I think that was a little bit of net code, if anything. Because I was like right at his bumper. I did not want to get squeezed up into the wall. Then we got a lap car up here, which is... At least he's staying high out of the way for now. Try to get by him, hopefully, easily. Go back to this bottom that still has got some grip because that middle lane, especially in one and two, was killing me. I felt like I was way too sideways down there, or up there, I should say. That time the car just did not want to turn. That was a bad corner. You could really just roll the bottom of these corners if you don't hit these tires and get a good amount of grip down here. This track gets so bumpy with these cars. These cars tear this track up. Some guys are starting to go a lot higher in one and two. Fifth place did it in three and four, which is interesting. Already 11 laps in. But this track gets so freaking bumpy with these cars. The track just gets so torn up, it makes it for an interesting race. Oh, there's a car upside down. <laughs> yeah, if you're stuck like that, just reset. At that point, I just reset and try to get off the track, not to... Oh god, they're still sitting there? Wow, they really were just sitting there nose to nose the entire time. I reset as soon as I can if I get into a wreck like that and I'm stuck sideways. I really don't want anyone caught up in my wreck. That happened to me uh, the last 358s I ran at uh, Cedar Lake. I smacked the wall because I'm an idiot and got stuck side. I got spun around and I got stuck sideways. So I just reset as quick as I could so nobody else like ran into me. I think this top on one and two is starting to come in more than the bottom. I do like the top in one and two at this track a lot. The bottom in three and four does keep a lot of grip though through the race. And these cars, I get near the wall a lot better than I do in the late models because these cars are a little shorter. These cars are just a little bit shorter than the uh, late models are, so I feel like I get up into the outer groove a lot better. You really don't want to hit that wall and swing yourself around. Not at all. I'm trying to like get off the gas enough when my car turns down the track. I did that a lot in practice and it was working out for me. Like getting off the corner a little lower. I'm ready for to get rid of all the I have no clue what you're saying, it's something about getting rid of something. Good fun to run five laps. That's a lot car wreck. Oh god, he's up top. Where are you going? Jesus Christ. The nine car just threw a slider on two guys. That didn't really work out for you. I'm just gonna stick down here. I don't trust myself throwing that slider. It actually worked out pretty decent for me, to be fair. 
Because there's still a good amount of grip on the bottom. You do get a lot of momentum off that high side, though. Another star car stopped ahead. Jesus Christ, these lap cars. Second place ran into him. Because that guy started moving all of a sudden. Because you're a lap car and you're going to stay on the field, just stop. Just do not move. That's the worst thing you can do is start going forward. But yeah, now that a lot of people are running that high side, you might see some sliders start being thrown. That one car is so fast. Like first place, number one. He is so fast. How many laps you got left? About like five, six laps left. And we got basically a shot at third here, it looks like. I'm happy with the way this race has turned out. Kind of messed up a little bit too much in the beginning by giving the low side away. Because there was still a good amount of grip down there. I just went up high, like, to start the race. Because I was hoping that I could keep my momentum up better up there. And God on the bottom is holding his own pretty well, to be fair. Nine car goes. There's a slider. Five car goes. Oh, I thought he was going to. I had to check completely out to not run to the back of him. I thought he was going to try to throw a slider and run into the back of that nine. Ooh, seven car got in the wall behind us. And the car behind him got in him. But who was the lap car? You hate to see it. That's what I'm with my lap. I have a really good entrance. I don't have as good of an exit, though, on these corners once we get this high. Still got another lap, though. Definitely don't got the speed off the corners on the bottom, unfortunately. I definitely had some speed away up top. I'm happy with how that race went. Even though we lost a spot in the race total. Oh god, that nine car just completely stopped. We lost a spot total, but I definitely had some speed there towards the end. So I'm very happy with how I raced at least because usually in these cars, I tend to fall off a lot. Because I, I definitely caught that pack a decent amount over the last five laps. Nine car made a hell of a move on the five. Did he finish third? I think he did. Good for, good for him. He made a really good move right... Oh, no, it wasn't this corner. It was the next one. But I was getting really good runs through the corners when we were running this high side. I think the nine car... Not this corner. He went low on the five. I think it was off of this corner, I want to say. Where'd he go low? Because he made a hell of a move throwing a slider between those two guys. And it worked for him. Five car wasn't able to throw a slider back on him. Where was it? Because I was slowly catching them lap by lap. I think right here he did it because he had a good run right there. Split the difference. Threw a narrow slider. The five saw it coming. Checked up to go back under him, which is good. Because the nine, I don't think, would have made that slider cleanly if the five didn't check up. Because he did throw a really narrow slider. He just went straight right here. He didn't go too low. And if the five stayed in the gas, which honestly he had all the right to, they probably would have gone up into the wall, which would have really sucked for me right behind him. But I definitely had some speed there, which I was happy with. But we did finish six, unfortunately. Probably going to lose my rating being car number two, finishing sixth out of 14. And only seven cars run the lead lap. That's kind of funny. I had a really good run here. I thought this five was going to try to throw a slider on the nine, but he was going to hit him. I had to really check up not to run into the back of him. What happened to the 7 here, though? I think he, like, ran into the wall or something. Oh, yeah, his car just didn't turn. That sucks a lot. I hate when that happens. He's going into the corner, and it just sucks up into the wall. And then I think the lap car got into him, too. Yeah, just a little bit. It wasn't too bad, but really sucked for him, for sure. But really happy with how we raced there at the end. Uh, caught them. Had a shot at third, for sure, but... Didn't quite get there or even get to fifth, unfortunately. I was hoping i at least get the five car because I felt like I had a good amount of speed on him. 
I tried the bottom there towards the end. Didn't quite work out and have the grip, but that's all right. Still figuring out these cars. This is only the first season that these have been out, so I'm pretty happy with how I'm progressing with these cars at least and having some competitive racing, so that's a lot of fun. So let's go see how much I rate we actually end up losing out of this because we are definitely going to lose a little bit being car number two and finishing six, so that's all right. Let's go see what we end up getting out of it though. All right, results are in. Number one car was by far the fastest, even though the nine, wow, the nine actually ran the fastest lap, barely over the one, but he was gone from the field, three seconds ahead of second place. Probably would have been a little bit closer, but not close enough for an actual race up there because of that lap car to the second place. But second place was still really fast. Nine car made it happen there towards the end. A lot of fun racing with like the four or five guys I was with. The seven caught up to me for a little bit and then fell back once he hit the wall, which really sucked for him, but had a pretty good race overall. Very happy with how he ran. He had his fastest lap, lap 17. Wow, that's interesting to say the least. I had mine on eight because I ran the high side for the first like five, six laps. So that makes sense. Good strength of field overall, almost 2,500. Uh, we lost only seven I ratings, so that's not too bad because a lot of guys were really high up there. Most of them are over 2K and he's almost to 2,000 now, but... Down here is a couple guys lost, and they were pretty much, this guy was at 2,000 pretty much, but he never even was in the race, which sucks. It sucks to lose a lot of iron when you don't even get to race, no matter what happens, with whatever circumstances happen to him. But happy with how we raced. We lost a spot in the race, which is unfortunate, because I tried running the high side for the first five, six laps, like I said. Went up there way too soon, but we definitely will learn from that. Love Charlotte. It's a fun track to race. That track changes so much, especially these cars. These 358s change the track a ton with the way they slide around. And it makes it for a lot of fun racing because we're running straight on the bottom to start with and right along the wall to finish. So it makes it very fun and good competitive racing. And you can throw some sliders on each other, which makes it very interesting. Appreciate you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race nonetheless. I'm having a ton of fun in these cars, still progressing with them every week. And trying to get better. Hopefully one day we'll get a win in these. I don't think I've gotten a win in the 358s. Because I haven't been too stellar in them yet. But it's always nice that I could go back and see all the races I've done in these cars. Because these just came out this past season. And I could go back and see the first race I've had with them. And then to now. And see the kind of progression I've gone through with them. I don't think we've gone to the same track twice yet with it. So it'll be... It'll be good to go back to a track I've gone in with these cars and had some experience at least, but appreciate you guys for watching. As always, I already said that. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see some more racing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.